Hey, it's Mitch doing the cruise. Now, who wouldn't want to go to Florida at the end of the year, right? December 28, 1968. Joni Mitchell, Fleetwood Mac, Steppenwolf, The Grateful Dead, and the Jimi Hendrix Experience all land in Hallandale, Florida's Gulfstream Park to entertain over 100,000 fans at Miami Pop Festival 2, the East Coast's first major rock festival. For the previous two years, rock music festivals have been growing in scope, ambition, and attendance on the West Coast. The East Coast finally gets into the action at Gulfstream Park Horse Racing Track in Hallandale, Florida, where an estimated 100,000 fans show up to the party, outdrawing the Miami Pop Festival 1 that occurred earlier that year by about 75,000 people. Miami Pop 2 features a flower stage and a flying stage, each operating simultaneously. It's the first major musical event known to employ this dual stage innovation. Fans arrive to find the grounds decorated with an assortment of giant sculptures, including an overturned milk carton and a giant blue humanoid, crafted by the University of Miami's art department. A commemorative comic book featuring several of the headlining musicians is also distributed at the event. Pacific Gas and Electric, who will achieve their most commercially successful hit, Are You Ready?, two years later, liquefies minds with their performances, harnessing so much power they are asked to play four separate times. This Herculean feat of entertainment secures them a recording contract with the big dogs of Columbia Records. Country Joe and the Fish, Marvin Gaye, Iron Butterfly, Procol Harum, and dozens of others also perform. 